que hagan su pregunta en español porque ellos van a tener traducción. Y bueno, pues básicamente eso es todo. Quisiera presentarles en primer lugar a quien interpreta a Magnus Bain. Él es Scott Frigau. Les pido un aplauso para él, por favor. Hola, hola. ¿Cómo estás? En segundo lugar tenemos a quien interpreta a Alec. Él es Kevin Seegers. Tenemos también a Jamie Campbell Bauer, el interpreta a Jace. Les pido un aplauso también, por favor. Y por último tenemos a la protagonista de la saga, el interpreta a Clary Frey. Se trata de Lily Collins. Welcome, welcome to Mexico. You've been here, some of you, for the last couple of days. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience in Mexico? Yeah, I went out and uh, I went to the I went to the Garibaldi Square the other day. Yeah, I got myself a mariachi band. That was wicked. So much fun. We had a lovely dinner last night as well, didn't we? We did. I saw video footage of the mariachi band. I was quite jealous. I didn't join in on that. Started dancing with an old Mexican lady. Was yeah, that it was amazing. Really? <laughs> Uh, you had a lovely dinner last night. Um, we haven't been here that long yet, so hopefully we'll get more time. Kevin, I've seen some tweets of Mexican food. What can you tell us about? Well, that was room service uh, oh. from the. <laughs> so uh, I had, the food? we got in last night, so I, I was I wasn't able to join the dinner, but uh, I think we we are going out tonight. We are. We are going out tonight. I don't know where, but um, the room service at the San Regis was fantastic. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, I would like to start this press conference by asking each one of you, which was your approach to these books? What, what was your first encounter with the story? Did you know the books before uh, being cast, or how did you happen? Well, um, I actually got introduced to the Maurice Mintz by a casting call. So, uh, I was filming in China back then, and um, I was introduced to Magnus Bay, and I was very interested in this character in the whole series. So um, I went to uh, purchase the books myself in Asia, and uh, it was really hard to find, by the way. And uh, I just read the books, and I became a fan of it. And here I am doing a <laughs> press interview in Mexico. So it's a really good opportunity for me, and um, I just love the whole series, and the movie is awesome. Uh, uh, I, um, I was also filming something else uh, in Canada, and um, I. I read the script about a year before prior. Um, the film took a while to make. Uh, a few years, I think, um, from now, yeah, for Lily. So um, I just I met with Harold and we were at a scene I flew in, um, and it, it happened very quickly. Uh, I hadn't read the books. Uh, I literally just had time to read the script on the plane. Um, but before we started shooting, I, I read uh, the first book and. Um, have subsequent, we're shooting the second film in, in three weeks. Um, so, uh, so I've now read the second book, and uh, we should be getting a script today or tomorrow, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So um, that was my that was my introduction to uh, to this world. But I had no idea how popular the books were. Um, I was just I just sort of read it as a script and. I wanted to work with uh, both of these two, uh, or the sort of two that were cast uh, when I was uh, when I was cast. That's it. I was in Los Angeles two and a half years ago uh, for pilot season, doing the rounds as one does, um, and I got a phone call asking if I would like to go in an audition for a film called The Mortal Instruments, and I said absolutely. I got the sides. And the sides mentioned this character, Jace, and they des it described him as a cross between Jim Morrison and Spider-Man. And I was immediately drawn to it. I was like, I love this. This is awesome. Um, I didn't really expect anything. Like, I sort of expected a no, as you always do in these things. So, so I just left it. And then I got a call saying that they'd like me to go and camera test with uh, Miss Collins next to me. So, upon getting that phone call, I, I read the first three books, uh, immersed myself in the world, again, left Los Angeles, just was like, 
you know, that was amazing, you know, I had a great time, whatever happens, happens, didn't really expect anything, and then a week later I got a phone call saying that I've got it, and I thought it was a bad joke. Um, but it turns out it wasn't a bad joke, and I'm, here I am. It was a great joke. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, and that was two and a half years ago. Uh, I was a huge fan of the books before I was cast. Um, I found one of the series in a bookshop, read it, became obsessed, and heard they were making it into a movie. So I made phone calls and emails to my agents asking how to get involved. And um, it actually turned out that they they approached me about the role, so it kind of organically happened. So I didn't have to audition, um, which is a weird thing. Very lovely. Um, <laughs> very lovely, but very strange. Um, yeah, that was three years ago. So it's been a labor of love for three years. And then um, had auditions with J Jamie, or Jace's, and Simon's, and um, kind of went from there. But it's been a long time.